The Roast Game. Four long years of expanding the understanding of the phenomenon at hand. From the calories of each serving, to the death of each child, from the psychological will tester hypothetical, to the roast gang theory, from the little corpse of a boy or girl, to the holiday dinner table, from contradictory Christmas consumption statistics to a contradictory empirical reality of a traditional Christian Christmas dinner. I am Brian Mullins the Fox. Welcome to The Roast Game, a final look. Hello there! When it comes to the roast game, since the first debate on debate.org, which was on October 20th, 2017, it has been four long and stressful years to now officially gather up all the information and all the factors to fill in the gap for those who don't know about or who don't fully put this into perspective yet. Let's start out with the history of studying calories, shall we? Let's get into the nitty-gritty of the nitty-gritty. It began after almost or nearly 24 hours of painstaking research using this table graph on a somewhat serious, somewhat satirical wikia I started back in 2017, with the original roast game being the most serious out of it all. Yes, this table included which no longer exists because Wikia is such an unreliable piece of shit SJW safe space and no objective information that's more valuable than nostalgia bait is allowed there. On September 28th, 2018, I posted a video on my old ranting channel proving that the calories added up for children unlike ham, turkey, beef, and chicken. Let's go deeper into what I've done. I've used this table called the roast game as an original concept. I used this table to fact check to see if these other meat choices met the amount of calories to then add up to the amount that a family consumes, not just hypothetically, but realistically. Which is kind of fascinating that the roast game as a topic of discussion began with the psychological will tester hypothetical. The table demonstrates that hypothetically, if each meat choice alone, instead of with sides, don't fill up a family of 12, then with these sides, they did not consume these meat choices. Four of them to be exact. Ham, turkey, chicken, and roast beef. Plain and simple. How it comports to reality is something of a marvel. Here's how the calculations went down. One... For each meat choice, I multiplied the amount of calories for each slice by the amount of slices per serving, as shown in the table itself. Two, I factored in for people with bigger stomachs by making three separate calculation variants, accounting for one to three total servings per person. Three, multiplied each by twelve then divided each large number by the caloric amount of each roast meat choice in its entirety. 4. Averaged up decibel numbers by the decimal point to confirm not just the table graph, but the roast game itself as a fact. 5. Used the earlier reference to the amount of calories in a 7.5 pound baby, exemplified by Alan Johnson from Quora.com, to set the example on how to calculate the amount of calories per child. For example, the average 8-year-old boy weighing at about 62 pounds. And finally, 6. Proving my point. Setting off one of the biggest autistic internet feuds I had in the history of me being a furry on the internet. Alongside with the roast game theory drama, which I will cover at the end of the 10th 
and final part of this series. Let's point to some clarifications that I made in the description box of that video. Chicken. Either I multiplied the amount of calories per slice by 5.5 or 6, then multiplied by 12. That's how I got both of two mathematical factors. Beef. Either I multiplied the amount of calories per slice by 4.5 or 5. Ham. The two decimal numbers came from multiplying two servings per person by 12 and multiplying three servings per person by 12. Then I added both of those decimal numbers up, then divided by two and got my answer. Turkey. Either I multiplied 77 by three and a half or four, then multiplied by 12, then divided 7,197 calories by each multiplied numbers. Then I added up both decimal numbers then had to round it up to about five turkeys. The different way I calculated it is that I added 22 by 44, then added that by 88, then divided by two and got 77 calories. I used this technique in other videos. For example, fact checking a Christmas calorie article from 2014 published by Liz Neperent of ABC News. Hell, even back then I made a video showing how I calculated those numbers shortly or sometime soon after the calorie video, when the drama sort of died down a little bit but then got back up on its two feet. Before I sign out into the next episode, I want to add some extra details to this massive recap. In Season 3 of the Roast Game Theory, I factored in the calories with each passing case in that season. It became more apparent the calories not just add up, but also make a hell of a lot of sense. In season four, I continued with it, becoming as accurate as realistically possible. So for a quick summary, the calories add up. On the next episode of the Roast Game of Final Look, we will be delving into the history of studying self-conflicting consumption statistics. I am Brian Mullins the Fox, signing out.